Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to recover data from a crashed RAID 5 after Devic Control DC624E controller breakdown. RAID arrays are an effective method of combining several hard disks into one logical volume to ensure safety and reliability of data storage. A DC624E controller by Devic Control is a reliable device designed to manage RAID arrays. It ensures stable operation on a daily basis, but it may fail one day just like any other device. When the controller is down, the RAID becomes inaccessible and it may result in loss of all important data stored on its hard disks. In today's video, we'll explore what to do if your server's RAID controller breaks down and how to retrieve files from its disks. To understand the controller's functions better, let's find out how to create a RAID on this specific device. Connect the controller to the motherboard. Then connect the hard disks to the controller and boot the server. To build an array, open the controller's bias. For this specific model, you can do it by pressing the F4 key when the server is booting. As a result, the bias will open. Press F1 to create an array. After that, give the RAID settings, the RAID level, the number of disks it should include, the block size, and select the actual hard disks to build the array with. Now choose the build type. The array with copy data, create set and copy data, or create and initialize set. And confirm a choice by selecting yes. The RAID should appear in the main BIOS screen. Restart the device. After that, you'll be able to partition the volume and add some data. If the access to your disk array is lost, the first step should be to identify the cause of the problem. Examine the controller and the connected disks carefully. Check them for any damage, signs of corrosion or overheating on the controller board. Also, have a look at the status LED lights that may also indicate there is a problem. If you notice anything unusual, it may suggest there are some controller issues. If you run a kind of diagnostics and you are sure that the controller is out of order and can't be restored, your next step should be to replace the controller. Before doing that, make sure that you have an item of the same model at hand or a compatible one. Replacing the controller with a similar one will preserve the RAID settings and simplify the data recovery process. If you replace the controller with another model, make sure that the new controller supports the same RAID type and RAID level as your old controller does. For replacement, disconnect the disks from the old controller and remove it carefully from the case. After that, install the new uh, one into the same PCI Express slot on the motherboard where the old controller used to be. When the new controller is fixed in place, reconnect all the disks to it. Make sure that you have connected the disks in the same order as they were connected to the old controller. It's a very important aspect for a successful data recovery. When the disks are connected, boot the system and open the controller settings. The new controller should automatically identify the array and configure it in accordance with the previous settings. If the array doesn't identify automatically, open the settings and try booting the configuration manually. As soon as the controller identifies the array, you should regain access to your data on this RAID. In some cases, replacing the controller might be not enough to recover data, especially when the array was damaged or compromised while used with a faulty controller. If the controller is out of order, files were accidentally removed or hard disks were formatted after run configuration and so on. In all those complicated cases, data recovery from a crash disk array requires a specialized software tool capable of rebuilding the RAID and retrieving important information. Hetman RAID Recovery features powerful data recovery algorithms and can cope with various scenarios of data loss, including controller breakdown. This utility supports all popular RAID types, most file systems and various array patterns used by various RAID controllers. For data recovery, you need to connect all the hard disks to the motherboard of a Windows computer. The recovery tool will automatically rebuild the crashed RAID from the available disks. When you select the array, its brief information will be shown below. If your motherboard has less set of ports or power connectors than necessary, you can use additional adapters and expansion cards like the ones shown on the screen. Check if the utility managed to rebuild the array properly. To get more detailed information, right-click on the array and open its properties. In the RAID tab, you can view all information about the array including the hard disks, the order, offset, and so on. 
If everything is correct, right click on the volume and choose Open. After that, select the scan type fast scan or full analysis. If the controller has just broken down, a fast scan is enough and it takes less time. If the program can't find the missing files after the fast scan, then go for full analysis, go back to the main window, right click on the volume and choose analyze again, full analysis, specify the file system and click next. Open the folder where the files for recovery used to be stored. This utility retains the entire file and folder structure, so finding the necessary files is quite easy. In the preview window, you can see the contents of all files. It has also found the files that have been deleted earlier, and they are marked with a red cross. Select all the items you want to recover and hit the Recovery button. Specify where to save the data, choose the disk and folder, and click Recover again. When the recovery process is complete, you'll see all the files in the chosen directory. In some situations, the program may fail to rebuild the RAID automatically. It can happen when the service information on the disks is erased, so the program cannot identify parameters of the crashed RAID. In such cases, the RAID constructor with a manual build feature will help you. This tool will save the day when the disk beginning is erased, together with the information about the array parameters. This is what typically happens when disks are connected to another controller, and the previous configuration is erased or when the RAID is rebuilt. If you know the array parameters, start the constructor, choose Manual mode, Next. Specify the array type, block order, and size. Add the disk that used to include and replace the missing disks with empty drives by clicking the plus button. You may have to specify the offset, which tells you where the beginning of the disk is located. After that, give the disk order. When you have entered all the parameters you know, you will see your RAID, and if all information is correct, you will see its folders here. Fill in all properties and click Add. After that, the RAID system will appear in the Drive Manager. Now start the scan. Search for files and recover the ones you need. Data recovery from a RAID system based on a faulty controller Diver Control DC624E is a complicated task, which requires certain knowledge and skills. However, replacing the controller or using a RAID data recovery tool, you'll be able to successfully restore the lost files and ensure safety of all your data. And that is all for now. I hope this video was useful and it helped you to recover the lost files. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave your comments under the video. Thank you for watching and good luck.